Good morning guys. Well, I'm back on to making templates. <laughs> My favourite job. This hopefully won't be as bad because I've still got the template that I made to do this. It will change a little bit up the top. What I'm doing is I'm making, going to be making overhead cabinets all the way along to the end of the kitchen where the fridge will be eventually. I've worked it all out. There's going to be five overhead cabinets with the doors that will be the same as the wardrobes and also the kitchen. So this time I'm not being stupid. I've made the measurement of the wardrobe, uh, sorry, the overhead cabinets to fit the doors. So I should have the right measurements this time. All right, so before I get the template right, I've got to put some van sealer over here it's only going to be temporary for the time being just so i can get my measurements and i've got to add on three mil for the plywood that will be going over the van sealer so got the van sealer i have to get another piece that's not wide enough so it's going to go from here down to here that way i can mark where that goes up the top and i can make my template All right, guys, I've got the template up. This is, well, level from one edge of the bus to the other. So I believe this line is level all the way across. Who knows, but yep, you take a guess. So I've marked the line here. That's where the bottom of the drawer uh, cabinet's going to be. Now I've got to work out where I'm going to come along here. We don't want to come out this far. It's going to be instepped a bit. Just got to work out how far. And I'll make this line straight as well. Then I can cut this. Then we've got our template. And then I can work out where all the cross bracing's going to go. Which is pretty straightforward. One's going to go here. One's going to go here. Uh, one here. And one here. So I've made the template up. And I've cut it out. And I've put it all together. And it seems to be working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut them all out and join them all up and show you how I've done it all to make sure it works. There was a lot of mistakes made on this. It wasn't very fun. These are the cutouts that I've made so far. And the template I'm using, which is on the first one, I had to do quite a few times because I got all these cuts wrong. Had it all right, went to do the last cut, and I put the piece of timber this way instead of this way. <laughs> so that was a pain in the butt after doing all that work to get it cut out and everything was working. Then I stuffed up here, but I was lucky I could cut the piece that I cut out of here and I glued it in and screwed it in so it doesn't move. And this won't be seen anyway, it'll be covered anyway. So that's the template I'm now using for everything. There's the two for the next one I've done. Alright, so this is the one that I first put together. This was my test one. Alright, so it's just back together so I can show you guys what it looks like. That will be the front of it. And this is the bottom. There'll be a floor in it. And that's from the side. So once i have uh, sure and I've glued it all together, I'll put the door on and show you what it looks like. 
Alright guys, this is the first dry fit of all the overhead cabinets. We were, these two cabinets, were going to go above the kitchen. But we've changed our minds, we're going to leave that open. And, I've just, and we were going to have, leave all this side open. We've changed our minds, we're going to put two down this side and three down this side. So we haven't lost counter space. I mean, sorry, we haven't lost storage space. We've still got the five that we were going to do. I can't come any further over this way because this is where the dinette comes and you don't want to be getting up and hitting your head on the overhead cabinet. So there's none going there. If we need to, we can always put another two over here. When we go away for our next trip to test it out, we'll get Carolyn to test her cooking and stuff and see if it's alright. If it's okay, we'll leave it. Otherwise, if we think we need more storage, I'll build another two across here, which will bring it to the end, pretty much the end of the counter. Where it is here, directly below this is where the oven's going to be. So that's fine. So I'm happy with the overhead cabinets. There's little tweaking I have to do. If we have a look back here, these two, the, these first two have got to come out a little bit. They're just a little bit in. So I've got to fix that. Also, along the top here, I'm going to have to groove this out all the way along because I don't know whether you can see. Yes, you can. Along, it's knocking on the top here all the way along so I'm gonna to have to groove that out I'll get my router and I'll put a groove line in there along the top of all of them this is doing it on this side as well so I'll I'll route this down to about level with here to about here and then come up so I'll do that with the router all right guys taking the overhead cabinets down this is what I've got to route out so this part here all the way along on both sides so I've given it a bit extra on what I'm taking off and come down that deep so now to get the router out and route it all off good morning guys so this is the first carcass of the overhead cabinets complete as you can see it's framed out I've use three mil ply to curve around the back of it so it's got a back which I'm going to paint inside it's from the side and from the front and I've put the hinges back on and I'll put the door on and show you what it looks like with the door on okay so that's it with the door front on looks pretty good you got to remember you won't see any of this the only part you're going to see is down the bottom and it's going to have gloss paneling across it and I've got to put a gas strut up here other than that that's the first one done and it's looking pretty good all right guys I've finished building the overhead cabinets now once again we'd like to thank you for taking the time out to watch our videos if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And next week, hopefully, I'll have these overhead cupboards installed. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys. Once again, I hope your build's going well. And I hope you have a great weekend. And bye for now. See ya.